Okay, so we have um, issue with this panel, okay? So uh, there's a couple things wrong here. As you can see, the print room did not cut off the um, edge of the material, which isn't a total big deal. However, uh, when you go to line this up with your next panel, it's not going to, um, you're gonna have this piece underneath where it should only be a half inch overlap. We don't want an inch and a half overlap. We only want a half inch overlap. So um, we, this is not great from the print room side of things. So, so that is going to be in the print room section. Another thing is we put this first panel on, everything looks great. Um, and then when we went to go put this panel on here, things weren't lining up. So it, as you can see here, um, they, it wasn't perfectly lined up here and here, and then down here. Um, we could have probably straightened this out a little bit better, but what happened was when whoever put this on, um, tried to move this area. And what happened is if you, if you stand back here, you can see that the line is now, um, not straight across the vehicle. So I'm just going to come back over here so you can see it a little bit better. Um, so if we measure from the bottom up to the words here and the measure from the bottom up to the words here it doesn't it's not running straight and what ha and when we do straighten it if we turn it like this um, so that it is running straight then there's not enough black overlap so the first thing as an installer you need to be asking uh, the print room hey is the overlap turned on did you print this with overlap or is there no overlap at that point, you go to the print room, you ask the print production to pull up the file that they printed with to sh for them to show you if um, they did actually have overlap on or not. In the case that they did not have overlap, they're going to have to reprint both those panels for you so that they would line up properly. In the event that um, the overlap was turned on and something just happened, what, what that means is that you put the panel on crooked so it's it's not lining up because the panel is on crooked so you, what you're going to have to do is um, take this panel back off and try to realign it to make it straight um, in this case we can't because the door handle is already cut out um, and same with the back one so if we would go to put that one back on it's uh, it's not going to line up properly and we already have holes cut so if we um, move it it's going to be off so uh, we can't do anything with this panel at this point. We're going to have to take it off and redo it. So again, make sure that before, when you, before you start that everything lines up perfectly before you put this panel on because at this point, this is an installer issue and would come off your pay because you didn't line it up properly to begin with. So keep that in mind when you are putting uh, these panels on that you double check, triple check, uh, quadruple check to make sure that everything's lining up first before you go ahead and put it on. Um, what happened in this instance, um, we had an installer working on this first panel and it wasn't quite done and the, the second installer started this second panel and that's where things went south because um, that first panel wasn't quite laid all the way down and when we went to go put the second panel on um, it wasn't lining up because it wasn't lined up before you start it. So if you are working with a second installer, make sure one person's working on one side and the other person's working on the other or on the front of the vehicle or on the back of the vehicle. So keep that in mind when you are um, doing, um, working as a team that you don't, you're not working necessarily right side by side unless you have it already lined up before you start. Um, so yes, this, this would come off of your pay because you were, uh, you neglected to do it properly to begin with. So lining it up, making sure that it was lined up before you started. So again, just double check, making sure. Um, but again, with this circumstance, first things first is we, you would go to the print room and ask them if the overlap was turned on. And if it was not, then that would be a print room um, department issue where they would have to reprint and that would be dealt with in a different way. So just double check, make sure everything is on there before you um, start and make sure everything's lined up before you start.